everyone, it's Lindsay and Rob and welcome to our DIY Dutch Colonial. In today's video, we're going to share with you a massive haul from about four estate sales and we will try to put prices on the screen for all of the items, but some of them were kind of just take all of this for one price. I will link a playlist with similar videos if you're interested. Let's get started. So we got this wooden ladder for $5 and there were also some tool belts. Yeah, they were kind of thrown in at the end of one of the estate sales for, I think to get me to an even 20. So they were about $5 for the pair. We got this little metal cabinet and I made the guy clean it out. He was not very thrilled, but this was only a few dollars. He, he was like $2 or something like that. And then that. he raised it to 10 because he didn't want to clean it out. We got these lamps from an estate sale down the street from us and they need to be rewired. Ooh, a phone. This phone was $4 and I found it in a laundry room and it was still plugged in and they said we could have it. I thought these would be really fun for my dollhouse. They were in some lady's junk drawer. And you got all that stuff for free. Oh yeah, we got it all for free. So these salt and pepper shakers were $12 from a thrift store in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I have a bunch of these, but could use some more. This teacup was free. This milk glass lamp was also free. The guy just gave us free stuff because Rob kept talking to him. I talked to everybody. Meat grinder. Lindsay told me I couldn't buy it. Bought it anyway. And then in the car, he said, just give me feedback on if you think I should buy things or not. She said, I did. I gave you feedback, told you not to buy it. These pillows were pretty much brand new. We got this cake pan, metal cake pan, from the estate sale down the street from us. I probably would not put a cake in there because mm -mm. it's rusty, but it looks cool. It looks cool. These two tables held some ladies' plants, but they were $10 each. Mm -hmm. Is that marble? Yeah, it's probably a, a marble mm -hmm. top. They're pretty heavy. Drill. Drill. I got this saw for $25. I think it needs a new power wire, but that shouldn't be too hard to fix. I think new it was $400. And the routing table, uh, I want to say he charged me $5 for that. And a uh, media spreader that was $5 and looked cool even if it doesn't work. this stool um, it was covered in boxes in this guy's basement and I asked if we could have it he gave it to us for five bucks five dollars and it was it was totally buried Lindsay spotted it across the room and it's from an old factory where there's now a Walmart 
I got this little display cabinet from a thrift store in Pennsylvania and it was $8 but it's originally from Home Goods for a little bit more. I found these sewing baskets and I FaceTimed Emma to see if she wanted one of them and she said she wanted both, uh, but I wasn't sure how much they were going to be. So we took them both downstairs and the guy said we could have them. For free. With all of the other stuff that we got for free. So this one's a little wobbly. Like the handle's loose, but yeah, one still of the works. handles needs to get screwed back in. And they were full of sewing stuff too, mm -hmm. right? And some old newspaper articles. We should see if there's money in it before we give it to her. Yeah, I'll be right back. These were some milk crate shelves that uh, somebody had fabricated. I thought they were really cool. And they had, he had all these peanut butter jars full of nuts and bolts. I just made an offer on the whole thing. I think I gave him $15 for all the nuts and bolts in the shop. And there's way dad. more than in this video. Way more. I think it was another 15 for the rolling carts. And they threw in a vacuum cleaner to bring the total to 100. an even 100. So I think it was 10 bucks for the vacuum cleaner. No but joke. they originally had it listed for 40. Got this watering can. It said it was 80 cents, but she told me it was like $2 when I went to pay for it. It's fine. Then I found a few old tools. I like to, if we're close to a $20 bill, I like to find a few things, old tools especially, that maybe I can refinish or sell or junk up a corner of our house with. We got this metal bistro set for $50 from the estate sale down the street from us. Well, that wraps up our haul. Leave a comment down below with your favorite item that we got, and we hope that you have a great week. Bye.